What's up guys? Welcome back to Modern Mining. Today we're going to be switching out this PSU for a Pico PSU. At this point the video has kind of gone to sh This is a bronze power supply and I want to see how much power can I save by powering my motherboard and the one graphics card that this power supply is powering with my platinum rated server PSUs. Let's see what happens. So like I mentioned, this mining rig is currently using two platinum rated 750 watt PSUs right here, and then one bronze EVGA 500 watt PSU. And that bronze PSU is powering the motherboard as well as one of the six GPUs. So my plan is to put three GPUs on one server PSU three GPUs on the other server PSU, and then entirely remove my bronze EVGA power supply and replace it with that Pico PSU. So a Pico PSU, what exactly is it? Basically, it's got one input power pin right here, and it's a standard PCIe six pin. So what you do is you take your standard breakout board with a PCIe cable, and you plug that PCIe cable into your input power on the Pico PSU. And now the Pico PSU, it has a motherboard connector to power the motherboard. It has an eight pin CPU connector to power the CPU. And then it also, thank God, comes with a little SATA cable to power your SSD that has HiveOS. I just turned the mining rig off and now we're gonna check our current power consumption so let's unplug this get our watt detector in there now turn this bad boy back on and see what it's using before switching out the PSU okay boot back up We're in 201 right now, but let's wait for the miner to kick on because that's going to increase. Miner's starting up. Alright, so with the bronze EVGA PSU, it looks like we're using about 534 point, let's do 535 watts. Alright, I'm going to turn this back off and let's go ahead and start switching out that power supply. I always hate pulling apart a mining rig that's working without problems. You never know if something's going to get messed up, but hey, maybe it'll improve the efficiency. I just now realized all these fans are not the same orientation. Oh well. Now, this mining rig has a Dell Optiplex motherboard, which may or may not work with this Pico PSU. We'll figure out real soon. First thing I'm gonna do is just start unplugging the other cables here, the current motherboard cable. CPU cable. I'm gonna go ahead and just unplug everything from the wall. Okay, let's see. And lastly, we need to unplug the GPU. That's using the EVGA PSU. So some of you may be asking, is two 750 watt PSUs enough? Can you put three 3060 Ti's on each? And if you do the math, Kapow would be the most power hungry algorithm that I would ever run on these cards. And when I do that, I set the power limit at 150 per card. So that would be three cards, 150 each at 450 watts. And that's still well below the 750 watts that these PSUs can do. With Even with the motherboard included, because one of these PSUs is gonna be powering the motherboard, that might only be, let's say 100 watts max, and it's gonna be less than that. So that still puts it at 550 out of 750. So definitely we have plenty of power capacity with these two PSUs. I'm gonna start plugging up the GPU that I took off the EVGA power supply to the PSU that only has two cards on it right now.
actually plug our Pico PSU in. I'm just gonna go ahead and stick this through here. CPU cable. This is only a four pin board, so we'll take a four pin plug. to only go in one way and then our motherboard connector let's get this old one out of the way if this works then I'll go ahead and get all these other PSU cables out of the way there we go okay it's plugged in and the last thing we need to do is plug in our SATA cable so let's move around to the back I don't make the prettiest rigs, I will say that. Take out our power supply cable and plug in our Pico PSU. All right. While I'm over here, I'll show you guys something funny. If you remember when I initially reviewed this rig that I had, I sold it to a guy for 4200 and then I had bought it back from him two years later just a few months back for $1,400 He had basically left it sitting in his garage Or actually his basement while he got it remodeled. So everything is just covered in drywall dust Luckily everything works fine, but I mean I can't believe that he didn't at least throw like a tarp or a blanket over this thing but hey, $1,400 or $1, getting my whole rig back, I'm not too upset. All right, moment of truth. Let's see if that Pico PSU does its job. Power button on this rig. All right. Got some spinning. Cards are spinning. Let me check out HiveOS, make sure everything's showing up. All right, this is quickly becoming a mess. So I've got a monitor now plugged in. What was happening is the CPU fan was just spinning, stopping, spinning, stopping. So I'm gonna plug a monitor in We'll see if this GPU right here can even display. I've got these fans uh, unscrewed so I can get into the HDMI slot. Let's try that and see if I can get anything on the monitor. But it's not looking good so far. Okay, boot it up. That's what I'm talking about. Start, stop, start. Monitor. Let's see. Not a good sign. I'm not sure it's going to work, guys. At this point, I removed the Pico PSU, but I still couldn't get the rig to boot, even with the EVGA PSU. That had me getting pretty worried. All right, at this point, the video's kind of gone to but I'm trying to just at least get this rig back up and running with the old power supply. And I'll still, if I can get it working, plug that last card into the server PSU and see how much watts we save doing that. But I think I finally got it actually booting. Um, what I did was I unplugged every single PCIe riser cable from all the cards and basically only had the motherboard plugged in by itself. I'll show you this in a second. At this point, I only had the motherboard plugged in and I was still, it was cycling power off, power on, power off, power on. I reseeded the CPU cable and I took out the RAM and I put the RAM back in as well. And now if I turn this on, I get a constant fan speed. It's not cycling off and on, off and on. So I'm gonna give up on the Pico PSU idea, but let's see if I can get this bad boy back up and running. Maybe Dell Optiplex motherboards aren't the way to go.
All right, everything's plugged back in. Hey, all right, everything's actually spinning and not stopping. If you're wondering why I've got this fan right here, these Dell boards, they won't boot unless a fan is plugged in there. And I tried plugging in one of these main ones, but that the RPMs are too slow. I like when they're going high speed because these are all powered by a Molex cable. So, okay, let me jump into Hive OS real quick. Um, I'll throw a screenshot on the screen if everything's showing up properly. And uh, hopefully it's fixed. Right, let's check out our power now that all six cards are on the Platinum Server PSUs. Hey, we were at 535, so 520. That's a win, and I should have done that a long time ago. Almost saved uh, 12 watts, 13 watts. It's pretty good. All right, so obviously that video didn't go as planned. The Pico PSU, it didn't work, and I'm thinking it's likely because that Dell Optiplex board is just an old OEM built PC from Dell, and I don't know all the details on these, but it's likely not meant for that, or that PC motherboard's just too old. Mine at least booted, but it was cycling off and on, off and on, and I'm wondering now, if I had left the Pico PSU on and taken out the RAM like I did to eventually fix it and put the RAM back in, if the Pico PSU maybe would have worked. But at this point, I'm just happy to have that rig back up and running. We saved about 15 watts uh, plugging that last card into the server PSU. So, hey, that's a win for today. Hope you guys had a great day. Sometimes videos don't turn out like you want to, but I'll see you guys next time. Got a lot more content on the way. Maybe next video we'll have some success. Peace.